from my perspective, I was born with a condition that meant I never had any real levels of testosterone, which meant I never went through any form of male puberty. Um, you know, that condition means I'm eligible to play women's sport at any level, in any sport, um, naturally. So a lot of the debate that's been going on and around doesn't actually apply to myself. I know when I was um, beginning to go through this um, transition process as a teenager, um, one of the tests that was done was on baseline testosterone levels. Mine were extremely low and very similar in the range of a cis female, so someone who's not trans. When you say you've transitioned, what does that mean to you? Um, it, that's, it covers a lot of different things for different trans people. Some trans people don't want to go through any medical intervention. For them, it's just a social transition. For some, it involves various levels of medical interventions. So some people want their testosterone decrease. Some want to have, make sure they have estrogen to go through a female puberty. For me, that's what I wanted because I hadn't gone through any puberty. So female puberty felt more in line with where what works with me. Um, so mine's definitely not just a social, even with my medical aspect. There's, there's some, me some medical interventions in there just to help with estrogen. Um, some people want to go through various surgeries. That's okay. Um, same way that normal cis women go through surgeries to help affirm how they want to look. It's kind of the same thing and it means different things to different people. There has been a lot of conjecture about your height. Mm. What have you made of that? That's interesting. I, in my family, I'm not considered abnormal. I've got tall, my tall dad, I've got tall mum. Like, I'm, I'm quite normal sized for my family. Uh, it's, you know, my sister's pretty tall as well. Your testosterone levels make you eligible to play cricket up to any level. Do you feel there's anything about your physicality or your biology that gives you an advantage? Nothing particular. I mean, only the differences you get from humans in general. Like, there are girls in my team who are a lot stronger than I am. There are girls with longer arm spans than I do, girls with bigger hands than I do. Just in my own team, never mind the teams I'm playing with or against. I'm just, you know, just got some naturally good bits. I eat all is benefit, beneficial for some things, but, you know, I've got very thin arms, I've got very, you know, quite a bandy human, it's not exactly lots of benefits to go with that, so it's just different, different people. You've been described as transgender, do you identify with that term? Um, I've had, so my social upbringing is definitely one of someone who's gone, is transgendered. I've experienced the challenges and hardships that come with that, and having to you know, change different people's perceptions of you and your gender. Because when you're born, you're, you're assigned a gender. It's uh, something that a nurse gives to you and then you are raised in that. It doesn't necessarily have to be how your chromosome is aligned. You know, they don't test your chromosomes when you're born. So my life or upbringing is one of a trans person. So I, I relate to their story and hardships. How would you describe yourself then? A woman, simple as. Always have felt that way, always, you know, want to articulate it as, as such. When as a child did you start to feel that way? When as a child did you think you're not very comfortable, you don't feel very comfortable in your body? Yeah, before I can remember other memories. It's the, the first thing I can remember as a kid is thinking that way, like throughout my you know adolescence, throughout my childhood, I always had that feeling of being different, but without the way to articulate, without the knowledge to know that where I stood. You know, back then, you know, parents weren't given that kind of information. That kind of story was not easily accessible. Like trans people were still bad of jokes in mainstream media back then or mainstream TV, um, 
he, he didn't have trans role models. He didn't have anything like that. So being able to articulate who you are is, is, just was not easy and not easy to do. Um, you know, I, I always had a dress in my room or something just to help. From speaking with other trans people, you get very good at decompartmentalizing. Um, it's a, from my perspective, at the very least, it's something you learn to put, to put to one side until you're alone. It's something you try and not think about and you repress for as much as you can because especially when you're young, when people you know treat you in a certain way, that's you learn that that's who you are. When people, um, you know, say this is what you should be doing, or these are your toys, or these are you know your 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 roles in the household. You know, you don't question it as such as a as a kid. You just go, you have to you have to do it, and you have to learn that that's where you sit in in society. Um, So that's tough. And, and decompartmentalizing that was probably one of the easiest barriers you can have to mean you can live a semi-normal life. You know, eventually you get to the point when you, you snap, kind of, and you, you have to find a way of telling people. I, I had to find someone to tell and, not, and say, I, I don't want to live my life and get to this point and not be able to tell people who I was. My friends have all been accepting. My family, with some time, very accepting. Um, at work, never had any issues. Um, on the sporting field, not a single comment, no, no issues. Um, in just general life, going to the shops, going anywhere, not a single, not a single issue at any, any stage. No negativity I, whatsoever. I've just been living my life, being a normal human, going to work, going to the shops, <laughs> paying taxes, everything that comes between. So when it went public and you received such negativity, that mm. must have been a shock. Yes. I think um, you, from obviously reading media stories, you, you know that that kind of mentality is out there. That people just don't like you because you're different. Or you don't fit into their binar binary norms that they see. You get a lot of hate mail and bits in between. Some more extreme than others. It's probably the hardest thing, I think, for someone like me to, to experience because it's someone saying, you are not valid. You're... You, I get to decide who you are, not you. Without any understanding of the biology behind it, the science behind it, and just in general, how your brain works. Your teammate at Kent, Tammy Beaumont, has been quite public in her support for you. That must be nice. Having someone who openly shows their support despite knowing what backlash you could get from it, from people who just don't know anything about the story, anything about biology, anything about who I am or what, what, what I'm doing. Um, it's very brave of Tammy and it's something I appreciate a lot and I've spoken to her about it since and told how much I appreciate it. Was there ever a point where you had to accept yourself or have you always felt comfortable in presenting as you do? I've always known who I am. Being able to articulate that is different, but knowing who I was became a, a challenge, particularly in the early teenage years, where there's a lot of social pressure from friends, a lot of stigma. Um, so being comfortable in who I am was tough. Uh, and that's, you know, sometimes part of the reason why it's harder to explain your feelings is that when you're old enough to, to be able to tell people is that then there's the stigma behind it.
You are eligible to play for England. Of course, you would have to apply via the ICC um, to be given the go-ahead to actually play at international level. But is that something that you hope for in the future? I think everyone would love it. Uh, if, the, if, if I was invited to, it would be the biggest privilege of my life. And speaking to people who have played at that level, um, even for just one game, is the biggest, one of the biggest occasions of their sporting lives. So I'd 100% say yes. I'm not expecting it, but I would say yes.